right, man. Welcome to the high school auto shop. So in the classroom here, this is this is where I hang out and take pictures for you. There, zooms for you. But if you were here, this is where we'd be working. I'd stand over there at the podium. Yeah, some of you would sit around here and I'd yell at you and whatever. No, I don't know. Here it is. So stepping out into, well, you guys might get dizzy looking at that. Out uh, the shop. Just outside of the classroom, we have a first aid station. Oh, just a minute. Sorry about that. I was uh, expecting that phone call, but I was expecting it a long time ago. So, as you can see, we had the fire extinguisher near, right by the exit door. With the uh, first aid kit, we got lots of band-aids. We got more band-aids you can shake a stick at, friends. And, of course, the fire alarm. Okay. Now, if you're coming down along the, the line here, okay, we'll walk this away. Yeah. Here's my office. No one goes in my office but me. Yeah, it's a mess. It's not as bad as it used to be. All right. It was before I took over. It was m -m 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 messy. Here's our bathrooms. There's your sink. But over here, here we have the eye wash station. If you ever get something in your eyeballs, and I don't really care for these little plastic doodahs because they're kind of hard to get off, as one can see. Like, oh no, I have stuff in my eye. Let me dinkle fart around with these. So I'm gonna get these loosened up. But the gist of it is this. Oh, Judas Priest. I hope you caught that on video. Look at this water. All right. Well, that's cool. Anyway, there they go. That one popped off too. Oh, well, good. The inside part popped off. Watch this. Oh, geez. Oh, dear. Okay. Watch. Oh, brother. Anyways, so we'll get that fixed. That was cute though. Um, I wish I had caught that on tape. That was disgusting. You coming out of there. So you got something burning in your eyes. You come over here to get it out and you put more in your eye. So not cool. All right, but that's where the eye wash station is located. Okay. Now, here we have our torch set up. All right, here we have a tire station. Tires can blow up. They can pop off. They can do all kinds of things. And when that happens, of course, protect your eyes. Okay. All right. Come along here. We keep our grinder clear on this side of the shop. Notice we always keep a face shield with it. Okay. Always use a face shield with a grinder. All right, this one needs a new grinding wheel. Don't look at that. I need to order a new one. Okay. So coming along over here, you'll see there's our first fire extinguisher that's in the middle of the shop. You come along. Wait, there's another one. That's right. It's, it's like right in the middle of the shop. That's right. That's right. Yes, there's a boat in the shop. I have to do some wiring on that one. Keep coming along. Da, 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 da. Hey, look in front of us. Hey, there is another fire extinguisher again by the exit door. <coughs> okay, over here is where I keep our hazardous liquid, our flammable liquids. We've got a gas can there, portable gas can here. These are all empty oil that we've taken out of vehicles. So again, that could burn in theory. All right, but if oil starts to burn, you've got bigger fish to fry, friends, because it is very hot. Okay. Now, the gasoline, again, we store it clear over here. We're not going to use sparks over here. We're not going to have any issues over here. Okay. Now, here's our solvent tank. Okay. It's clean parts in this thing. Again, this stuff is also flammable. Not like real flammable. That is, you know, you might struggle to light it on fire a little bit. But that doesn't mean that I want it right next to where I'm cutting with a torch or something. Okay. I want it clear over here on this side of the shop where it's out of the way. Now, the shop is a little messy. <sighs> Okay, it's a lot messy. All right, yes, this is a giant TV that I use for when we're in the shop and I'm trying to demonstrate something. Uh, for instance, an oscilloscope or a scan tool. I put it up on the big screen so everybody can see it without having to like, crowd around one another. Okay. <laughs> and we have tool cabinets along the back wall. If you were here, one of the things you would be doing is you'd be getting your own engine. You'd have a box with your small engine in it. We'd be doing the work on the back table. I know I said I do a good job of cleaning up, but you'll notice there's no garbage on the back table. That's what I said I'm very good with. Now, sometimes I don't put my tools away right away, but that's, again, I'm in the middle of a bunch of projects. Okay? So, as we're moving along down here, here's a couple of them, as a matter of fact. A few chainsaw. Well, that chainsaw and that weed whacker have to get fixed. These are just some donated ones. Whatever. And and then another another grinder. Again, the grinders are both on this end of the shop where, again, they are nowhere near the flammable stuff. Now you're like, well, aren't those tanks flammable? Okay, well, the black one is the fuel. And yeah, technically, yes, it is flammable, but only if it was leaking. So there's no leaks coming out of it right now because it's, it's turned off. 
So that's not a big deal over here. Again, that's just kind of where I park it. Okay. Well, Mr. Green, what about this can of gasoline right here? Well, again, if I was doing a bunch of grinding and stuff, I was just using this for some chainsaw work here a while back. That got left here. Ordinarily, it is stored on the far end of the shop as well. Okay. Now, for some reason, the janitors decided to leave toilet paper and whatnot over here on this desk. That's kind of weird. Ordinarily, that would not happen. Again, because I do not like uh, you know, paper and whatnot catching on fire right by my grinder. Okay. So in general, that's kind of how that thing goes. Again, that is a sweet little tour of the shop. Yeah, when you when we're here, normally I'll give you a locker to store your stuff in, uh, whether that's parts, whether that's a notebook. We usually use notebooks for um, to keep track of what you're doing in the classroom um, and in the shop. So just be aware of that. Again, here is the picture down the line. That's kind of how that thing works. As we go along, you get to come out in the shop. I'll have the again either the head camera on or just do one of these off to the side, and you can see how it works.